So I just received my system from Evdo Depot USA. Um, I got two, two of the unlimited plans on two separate carriers um, for a couple reasons. First, because I run a business, so I can't have any downtime. So if one of the carriers is having trouble, I need something um, for it to back up to. And second of all, because there is no cell coverage at my house. All the carriers get like one bar. So I got two systems, so I'm gonna have half my device on one, the other half on the other. And I also got two Yagi antenna kits from them. And I ordered I ordered online from Evdo Depot USA. And now I'm gonna test this stuff out and see how well it works. So here's the Yagis. These came with the regular brackets and stuff. The cables, they got four of them for the four antennas. I think it's two per uh, per router. So I got two routers. They told me each one's gonna have two Yagis. This here's the Sprint router. It's the Mophie. Looks like that. Then this one here is, uh, I think they call it the CLB router. And this one's on T-Mobile. And both of these, um, they told me have unlimited data. But like I said, I got two of them because I got a business and I want the best speeds I can get as well as not having any downtime. So I'm going to set these up and we'll see how they work. So I'm just going to make the antenna mount at a couple scrap pieces of two by four I got laying around. So the basic idea is I'm putting this across, this board across like this. I'm going to have one of each of these antennas um, on the ends like that sitting on it. So, uh, I guess they're supposed to be at 45 degrees to each other and then make a little wrap around out of these boards just to hug my chimney. Um, hopefully that does the trick and I'll just do it for both of them. I'll put one set higher than the other. So here's the antenna I got set up. I just made the, the frame like I showed you from a bunch of pieces of board, some 2x4s. Had it wrapped around the chimney, just basically squeezing the chimney to give the antenna strength. And I got the, the two antennas each at uh, 90 degree angles. I just found where the tower was just by trial and error. Got the cables running down here. Here it is again. As you can see, I live in a real rural area. That's why the, the cell signal is so bad here. But I think with these, I'll be able to catch something. So there it is up there. Like you saw, I got it on my chimney. Nice ran the cables down from the roof. Across there into my office where I'm going to be using it. So I got the cables running inside now. I brought all four of them through a little crack in the window. I just cut the plastic a little bit because I didn't want to drill any holes in my wall. Um, I got two of them plugged into the Sprint one right here, the uh, MoFi device. I got the other two plugged into the T-Mobile one, one on each side. Now I'm going to run a couple speed tests, see how much this antenna helped out. EvdoDepotUSA.com was the Sprint one. So I'm gonna test that one first. The web page pulled up pretty quick. Let's see. Twenty-eight ping, that's not bad. So about a 23 download, 8 upload, 28 ping overall. Now I'm going to try out the T-Mobile one, see if that one improved with my antenna. Okay, 
Okay, so yep, now we're on the T-Mobile one. I'll try this. Thirty-nine ping, still pretty good. This one looks like it's a little bit faster. Pretty good numbers on the T-Mobile one as well. Um, I'm gonna keep one of each instead of doing two of the T-Mobile even though it's faster, just because if there's a tower down or something, like I said, I use this to run a business so I can't risk losing connectivity. So at least I got that one for backup. That one, that'll probably be my primary use right there. So I figured something else out in here. You can go into the modem and lock it to a band um, when I, called the Evdo Depot Tech Support. They were telling me about this. They said try locking it to uh, 25, 26, and 41 right here. And 25 and 26 were getting pretty good speeds. But then I locked it to 41. Look how much my speeds went up. Now it's over 70 download just from lock into that band 41 well it went to 60 and it's still on the same the same router with the uh the antenna i installed um and in the same spot it's been sitting and just out of curiosity i decided to check out if i could get any signal what the performance would be if i took off those that big antenna that i installed I just put back on the little paddle antennas that came in the box onto both the Sprint one and the T-Mobile one here. So let's check out what kind of speeds we get. Okay, so we're connected to the Sprint one. Give the page a quick refresh. Let's see how it does. I get about one bar of Sprint on the second floor here, nothing on the ground level, on about the same for T-Mobile. So I wanted to see if, you know, this device could pick up a uh, internet better than a cell phone would. Let's see what we got. That's not bad. That's the Sprint one. I'm going to try the T-Mobile. And that's not bad for the Sprint one. Because like I said, um, even outside my house here, I get almost nothing. And uh, in the second store, I get one bar on my cell phone. But it comes in and out. So 7 out of 7 is not too bad. Now let's see what the T-Mobile does. And it gets pretty similar coverage to the Sprint here. Probably one bar up here. Sounds about eight and one. That one was the T-Mobile one. The first speed test I ran was the Sprint one with no paddles. So as you can see, the, the antenna I put up made a huge difference. Um, that could be because how high up it is. I got that thing about, I'd say 25 feet up in the air. Um, but even, even without the antenna, I was surprised that these actually worked at all because of how low the signal is.
So I've had the Evdo Depot system running for about a month now. Um, right now, let's see. I believe I'm on the, yep, I'm on the Sprint network. Everything's been working good. Um, I probably went through about 300 gigs or so in the last month on each device. Um, as you can see, videos are loading. Everything's good. Real happy with the service. Um, like I said, about 300 gigs on the first month on each device because we all watch Netflix, um, YouTube videos, a lot of video streaming. Like I said, I run my business office as well. I've got three security cameras at the house. Um, so, so far, I'm happy with the service. The speeds haven't dropped or anything. Um, and there's, they haven't capped me or throttled me or anything like that. I'm gonna make another video in about mm, three months or so, um, unless something you know changes sooner to update this and let you guys know how it's doing.